ladder like this, so, no, so they'd be like really scared to take <laughs> the ladder. It's like stuck in the internet, huh? I know. in London Dairy Chris is by getting a parking ticket we've just got parked and I've just found out on Twitter that Bret Hart's not going to be here we'll see Chris's reaction <sighs> what have you got to say to Bret Hart not being in Derry? I think it's absolutely ridiculous to be honest yes. with you it's raining again it's a tragedy yeah we've come all this way driven what how many miles nearly a hundred or so nearly a hundred miles over a hundred miles and now <laughs> we get to see lost. Scotty to Hattie possibly Scotty to Hattie and, and Rhino and Renee Dupree who wants to see them he brings his poodle, I'd like to see it. Good goodness. Did you get the ticket? Well, I hope this works. <laughs> so me and Chris are just so, out. Who did we meet? We met Rhino, we met Scotty Too Hotty, we met uh, Joey Legend. Joey Legend. Yes. Uh, one more. Yeah. And a roundabout. Could have met Brad Hart, but his flight was delayed nine hours. So I sat Did he not realise we were coming? I know. I mean, you can't just like, cancel on us. Swan Tone Girlie yeah, and Mr. Big Round 1990. Exactly, it's ridiculous. Or us. Yeah. Then take second exit to the water side. Train. It is um, nearly 11 o'clock and we have started our two hour journey back home. To Belfast. To Belfast. You know, like. Because we're hard and we're going to Belfast. We got some nice they sign pictures. So long as we get out of Derry alive. Oh, <laughs> I know, that we don't get jumped or something. That's the main worry. I know, don't jinx us. Touch yeah. your head. Touch wood. Yes, touch wood, touch your head. Act around about, then take the first exit to King Street. Do you like our sat nav, YouTube? It's pretty impressive. It's it is pretty impressive, it got us if here. You could understand what she was saying. I know, and we are listening to Cult of Personality, just... Just because we're in a wrestling mood now? Yep, and we're trying to stay awake on this journey back home. I'm sure Chris is used well, to well, stand up. I would up. like to think I could stay awake. <laughs> you, you stay up late anyway, I don't. That's straight, isn't it? On straight? On straight? Yeah, yeah. Phew! So fast. Thank goodness for that. I know. So what was your favourite match tonight, Chris? I would have to say the main event. The main Wait. event? It was the cage match, Rhino and Joey, your man Joey, Bobby, Joey. Joey, Le Joey Legend. <laughs> yes, Joey Legend. He was Legend. the nicest one in the side. I know, wasn't he? I remember his name. Yeah, that's what was really annoying. And then he put me in a chicken wing in that photo. <laughs> that was very funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I'm going to put the photo up at the end of this video because yes. it's just that amusing, it guys. Even? I have a funny feeling that the one I got you might have been fuzzy. It's fine, no more. Seriously? I got a sign picture. My hand was shaking. I know, I saw your hand shaking. Because I was like, oh my goodness, you just put me in that. <laughs> Big voice. Uh, and what did you think of all the other matches? All the other matches. Who else was on? Oh, aye. Hey. Scotty Too Hardy. Scotty the Hardy did who the worm. Who was up against? He oh, was yes, up against. Who? 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 Um, he was up against. Um, was it that wee pretty boy? <laughs> no, <laughs> he, was it was against him? Danny. The. Oh. The one that kept doing delicious that. Delicious Danny. Delicious Danny something. What was he called? That kept doing the wee hip thing, and I was like, why oh, are you uh, trying to be ravishing Rick Ray? And then Tucker, we had Tucker. Oh, Tucker! Ha. Tucker was the one Tucker. wearing the Kendrick pants, wasn't he? Yeah, he was in Kendrick pants. He was going up against like, the Ken He was guy. going up Ken Barbie guy. Yeah, he said he looked like Justin Gabriel. He looked like Justin Gabriel, guys. Yes, but he really did. He did. No. He looked like a Justin and Gabriel Bruno had, Mars. Then you had him looking like Bruno Mars. He did look like Bruno Mars. He doesn't Mars. look anything like Bruno Mars. Have you seen Bruno Mars? Yes, I know who I don't, Bruno I don't Mars think is. He's famous. No. <laughs> but yes, the matches were good. The Divas match was okay. It better. Was all right. Better than the WWE match. I thought it was just pretty standard. It was. It was sort of like. Um, I was between. Trying to so they can see me. I don't it think he's can see me. It was twins, wasn't it? Was twins. They can't see me. Get in the lane. Very dark. There's light. Yeah, that's why you are not seeing me. Um, yeah, it was like the Davis. It was, it was like the Bell Twins. 
They should do that with the Bell Twins, have the sibling rivalry. They've never really done that. No, they never did it. They sort of semi started and then never sort of went into anything. And then we had a guy that like Big Show in his early days. Yes, we had Tron. Yes. He is a the local wrestler. He works for the Northern Irish Nightmare. He's called Northern Irish Nightmare, and he's seven foot something, seven and he foot. was pretty good. He I had to was, admit, yeah. for being a big he guy. He reminded us of like Big Show when he was the giant. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. He was really good, actually. He was going against those one money guys. Oh yes, one money guys. That was so, they were funny, weren't they? The, yeah, guys. All the guys were so oh, they were hilarious. entertaining. Yes, like they really went out of their way to like entertain you. Yeah, Especially and there after, was you know Brett not turning up. Yeah, Brett Hart did not turn up. I know. Shit him. Flight was flight nine hours, and he could get. And the crowd wasn't really that great. No, the crowd was quite quiet for most of the time. And there wasn't much of us, to be honest. No, but they went out of their way to like, be they professional did. and stuff, so it was all good. Awesome. So, yes, guys, we've probably seen near Belfast on the cover video, but Near the homeland. Yeah. At the minute, we're just going to put some music on and try and get home in one piece. Yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. Am I driving you to guarantee? Oh, no, it's not, guys. <laughs> never get in the car with Chris. Oh! oh. Dog. dog. Scapey dog. <laughs> Landmark. Yeah. Then take the exit 26. Look at this. Lights up. Amazing, isn't it? The Brooklyn Bridge is not like that. I know. Like, look at that. So we've just passed Korean. But I think it's this is the last one. Because it's singing this time of night. No, it's second exit. Second exit. Yeah. Don't get wrong. Discussing dirt sheets. Wrestling. Who's dating who? Yep, who's dating who in the wrestling community? And you just can't see us because there's no lights. It's a black screen and that's like the orange lights in Christmas Minute. Alice, this is called. Alice. Yeah. After the great Alice Cooper. Minnie's technically, or Alice is technically a guy. Yes, I know. My car's named Mickey, if anyone's interested. <laughs> Mickey. And you're after the house? No, after Mickey James. Oh. Only the best wrestler, female wrestler ever. She got very kind of bunchy though near the end. Do you not think? Slap it. Hey. Mickey, no. My car or Mickey? No, Mickey James. Oh, Mickey James. I like her though. I love Remember her. Remember the Peggy James thing that I did? Hey? Remember the little Peggy James? Oh, I hated that. I was so like, I was so respectful, wasn't I? That must have hurt. It must have. Going into a dark road with no lights. 25 miles in this. 25 miles left. 27 to Belfast. 27 to Belfast. That's not too bad. That's like my house to come. back in Belfast at well I arrived home at 20 to 1 in the morning it was a great night the show was awesome and I definitely go and see it again the wrestlers were awesome and they were so entertaining um, I'm just gonna show you quickly what I got before I run off to uni and um, lucky enough I wasn't in uni till half two today um, this is the first one unfortunately I didn't have a, a picture for him but this is Joey Legend um, signed this sheet for me. I printed out these just in case any of the AWR wrestlers came out. 
but unfortunately I didn't have a picture for Joey Vagin, but he signed that for me. He was so nice. Um, they all asked to spell my name. They were like, how do you spell your name? And I was like, ah. Um, he was so, so nice. He gave me a massive big hug. He was like, oh, I've got two three-year-old twin boys and I have to teach them to have manners. The girls, Joe and her girl. I was like, oh. So I got a big massive hug. Um, he was a wee bit sweaty, but I didn't care. I got a hug. Um, next, I met the man himself, Sky the Hottie. The master of the worm, as they kept saying the whole night. Um, he was very nice. Um, we thought he was actually going to charge for autographs. Let me see there. It's Sky the Hottie and then it's Worm and then 2011. That's his picture I printed out. But we did think he was charging for autographs and we waited so long to meet him. But he was so nice and I had the picture already printed out and then we told him we had a two hour drive back to Belfast so he was very nice. He was chatting away to us. Um, Another guy who was chatting away, but Joey Legend was telling all these stories, which was awesome. But another guy that was telling stories was Rhino. Have we met Rhino? No, the only Rhino was very nice. Joey's talking about it's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Rhino. Um, here we go. He signed it to Healy. Rhino, and that's spelled with an R H Y, N O. And I give him this picture, and I was like, "Could you sign this for me?" He's like, "I only sign these." if you buy one of my 8x10s. So I had to buy one of his 8x10s, he charged me a fiver. So, <laughs> DNA to Healy, and he spelled that with an R-H-I-N-O in that one. So he was a nice guy, he was sort of chatting away. Um, we didn't get a chance to meet any of the other wrestlers because they didn't come out. Um, one of the guys, Delicious Danny, I think his name was, came out to sign, but he left before we could get to him, um, so that's it, but um, it was a great night, let's see the tickets, we were up um, second row in the balcony, and we could see everything, it was awesome, and the, the crowd was okay, Joe, you know, it's not like a WWE crowd, but I think it was good enough for a small theatre like that, the steel cage match was awesome, and um, we got to see the steel cage get put in place, which is amazing, because you don't see that at WWE events, so it's already put in place. Um, so yeah, we had a good night. Um, I'm knackered. <laughs> I stayed up to two. I wasn't really that tired when I got home. So I watched Princess Stories, as you do. Um, so yeah, and I'll put the photos. Maybe um, Chris took photos of me that were really blurry. Um, so you can't really see them that much, but I'll put them on um, the video anyway, just in case. Um, Rene Dupree was in there. I had a picture of him. He didn't come and Bret Hart cancelled. Um, his flight was delayed nine hours so we didn't get to see him. I have a figure for him to sign and everything but um, maybe next time. He's in Limerick today. He got in for Limerick today which sucked. But um, see so yeah, I even painted my nails for him. <laughs> Don't know where you can see. They're pink and black and they've got hearts on them. But um, yes I shall have to run off to uni now. I'm knackered from so I haven't even taken my makeup off from last night. So yes guys and in life video. Done. And I hope to do one soon, um, just like a nicer one of a full on day in the life. We have to very go to another wrestling show, but um, thanks guys for requesting this, and sorry I haven't been on at all, just seriously uni um, does take up a lot of my time, um, but I shall try and get on more often. So, see you there guys. Bye.